Chlamydophila pneumoniae. Introduction. A typical pneumonia refers to pneumonia caused by Chlamydophila pneumoniae and other bacteria, including Mycoplasma pneumoniae, Legionella pneumophila, and Legionella species, Chlamydophila cytosine, and Coxiella burnettii. Pneumonia is transmitted from person to person, likely via respiratory droplets, small particle aerosolization, and fomites. Pathogenesis The biphasic life cycle of Chlamydophila pneumoniae plays an important role in pathogenesis. Outside the host, the organism exists as a small, dense elementary body. Upon infection, the elementary body attaches to respiratory mucosal epithelial cells and enters a cell through receptor-mediated endocytosis. After gaining entry inside the cell, the elementary body persists within the phagosome and differentiates into a metabolically active reticulate body. The reticulate body replicates within the host cell, forming microcolonies, or intracytoplasmic inclusions composed of hundreds of bacteria within 36 to 72 hours. The reticulate bodies reorganize into the smaller, denser reticulate bodies, which are released either via cell lysis or exocytosis. The reticulate bodies can then go on to infect new cells. During replication, chlamydial antigens are released onto the host cell surface, inducing the host immune response. Clinical Manifestations Pneumonia, caused by chlamydophila pneumoniae, is characterized by fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Pneumonia is typically mild. However, severe cases are evident with pleural effusion and empyema. Chest radiograph findings are usually nonspecific. The most common findings are unilateral alveolar opacities. Diagnosis Polymerase chain reaction-based assay is preferred, and results are typically available within a few hours of testing. Treatment Empiric therapy for outpatients, most empiric regimens generally include a macrolide, for example, azithromycin, doxycycline, or a respiratory fluoroquinolone, for example, levofloxacin or moxifloxacin. For hospitalized patients not requiring intensive care unit admission, treatment with a respiratory fluoroquinolone, such as levofloxacin or moxifloxacin, or treatment with a beta-lactam, such as ceftriaxone or cefotaxime, plus a macrolide, such as azithromycin, are first-line options. Direct therapy. When a microbiologic diagnosis of chlamydophila pneumoniae infection has been made in a patient with pneumonia, azithromycin is recommended as first-line therapy. That's all for the video for today. We'll see you next time.